I want to wish you and your family a very, very happy Easter. I know that we're facing unusual times in our country and around the world, and it is a time that uh, is strange because Easter is such a social time of being with those that you love, and many times we are having to be separate to protect them and to protect ourselves. So it's an unusual time, but this will pass. This is the whole message of Easter, is what looks like the darkest that can possibly come to humanity. With God's touch, it rises again. It lives again. And we will live again. We will have a strong economy again. We will have strong health, strong resistance to any disease. The mind of God is working within the minds of the scientists. The healing that is taking place is taking place not only in your home, but every home. This is a quote from Psalms 91 verse 10. This would have been in the Bible that Jesus carried, the Torah. He would have carried this and he would have known this well. He would have taught this. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwellings. Psalms 91 verse 10. The most important thing that we can do is to close our eyes to appearances when all seems to be dark, when all seems to be dead. We turn to our spirituality to know with God that new life will come again. It's like looking at the ground in the middle of winter and thinking, well, it'll never grow again. You would think that with your eyes and what your mind tells you, and yet it is not true at all. It will spring up and better than ever before. Set time every day to turn within for personal communion with God. Your inward journey will take your attention away from the outer world, and it will give your attention completely to God, and this will renew you, it will equip you, it will enlighten you. In your daily quiet time, think of it as a mini retreat. As you enter into the silence of prayer, you release the thoughts of the challenges that we have all been facing, and in this safe haven, you rest in the peace of God. In the quiet time, you are restored to order and balance, and your life takes on an added power, a power of God, a power that Jesus Christ taught. And truly, when you do this, when you go apart for a while, you are following Jesus, perhaps, as never before. When you have the faith to close your eyes to outer conditions and all that is happening around you in the stock market, in daily reports of the rise of the virus, when you have the power to go to God and to equip yourself with this and with the inner knowledge that things will get better, it will restore something in you that cannot even be defined by words. As you linger in the silence of prayer, you ask for and you receive divine inspiration. And the guidance that you're given makes your way every day simple and clear. All doubts and questions, they melt away as they're replaced by total trust in God. You just know that you know that things are going to work out. Taking time for prayer is a good habit any day, but especially right now. 
to have this Easter experience, to rise above the conditions of the world, of your life, and to realize that you're not alone, that God is with you. And in these few moments, your outlook on life, it becomes positive again. And you're able to come away with renewed energy and renewed health and even renewed enthusiasm. The seeming impossible becomes possible. And you are realizing again that God is with you, that God is with others, that God is with all of us everywhere. The Bible says the truth that Jesus would have known, that Jesus taught, that Jesus had in his Bible, the Torah, in returning and rest, you shall be saved, and quietness and trust shall be your strength. Happy Easter. God bless you.